finally, my first case. I won't get my hopes up about it. I was disliked at the Academy, and I suspect they felt this case wasn't worth wasting anyone else's time on. I'm heading to East Town to investigate some farm trouble. I wasn't given any details. However, there are bad rumors circulating about this town. I'm going to find out why. All right, I've arrived. Hopefully the farmer can bring me up to speed. Good afternoon. Are you that very detective who was sent to us from the capital? I was expecting someone more experienced. To be honest, no one in the capital is particularly interested in minor rural troubles. And my age is not an indicator of my experience. Unless you were investigating crimes from the cradle, it is an indicator. This isn't the best way to begin our acquaintance. So, what happened here? Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Someone's killed all my chickens. They're trying to pull a prank on me. A prank? What do you mean? Everything's been made to look like the doings of an unknown creature. We have all sorts of legends around here. Only I don't believe in mysticism. Can you tell me in detail precisely what happened? Aren't you the detective? Figure it out yourself. All my chickens are dead in the coop. What's here to tell? All right. I'll take a look around here. Where can I put my things? You can go into the house. My wife's there. It's a nice house, and everyone's looking well-dressed. Harry clearly has other sources of income. Hello. You must be a detective from the capital. My name is Maria, and the angry man outside is my husband, Harry. Harry Lloyd. You call me John. Does your spouse object to my presence? No, it's not about you. He thinks someone is playing a prank on him, and I think our chickens really were torn to pieces by some creature. Such things have happened before. What things? Mystical and inexplicable things. I believe that our land here is special. Did you see anything unusual? Oh yeah. I saw the animal that tore the chickens to pieces. It was trying to break through the window when I was in the house. Can you describe it? Huge and creepy. It's definitely not a dog or a fox. But I couldn't see it because it quickly ran to the roof. There was so much noise. Would you like some tea? No thanks, I've got a lot to do. Can I put my things somewhere? Of course. You can use a desk in the room. There are very few predators that could leave scratches this long and deep. That claw is too big for even a wolf. I'm glad I took the reagents with me. I can test what kind of substance this is. I need to heat the sample. Mm, 
judging by the reaction, this substance is blood. Why is it green? Hello, doggy. Come out. Don't be afraid. The dog's scared of something. He didn't want to leave the doghouse. Judging by the severity of the damage, we're looking at a very large creature. Something brutally tore these chickens to pieces, but didn't eat them. Strange. The board broke under the weight of the beast, and the board isn't old. How much does this creature weigh? It really does look like the tricks of an unknown beast. I need to talk to Harry before drawing conclusions. Did you find anything? Yes, but it's still too early to draw any conclusions. Have any other locals seen this creature? A lot of folk have seen it. Even those who haven't abandon their houses and move away. People are starting to believe these lands are cursed. Are there any other reasons to believe that? The harvest in the fields is spoiling. The mill burned down. It rains constantly. People are haunted by small, everyday troubles. May I take a look at the fields? Yes, my field is right behind the gate. I'll give you the key, but the lock's a little tricky. I can handle it. Only you won't see the damaged land from the ground. The field is large, and it's hard to find the spoiled area. I'd advise climbing the tower to take a look. And what do you make of these events? Are you planning to leave? Nonsense. Troubles happen. If you want to talk to someone more superstitious, go to the local cleric. He'll tell you about all the curses in the world.
This is the tower Harry was talking about. The damaged site ought to be visible from it. I'll deal with the spoiled crops later. First, I'd better talk to the cleric. A small town, but a charming one. I wonder, who would I be if I were born here? Place. Why can't cults ever be joyful? Hello, my name is John. I came from the capital to investigate the recent troubles in your settlement. I am Saxon, a cleric of the Blue Fire Cult. Someone told me you'd be the one to ask about all the suspicious mystical happenings here. I will not speak to you while the totem of our ancestry lies on the ground. The Guardians are already angry with us. They are sending us more and more tests. Do you believe that the lands are cursed? Yes. I saw the demon dog, but it didn't dare to come here. The temple is protected by Wormwood. It is a holy place. What about the rest of the settlement? There is definitely a curse. Soon this land will be no place for living souls. Especially if the totem remains on the ground. Why can't you just raise the totem? It is not enough to raise a totem. You need to appease the Guardians with an offering. The Cleric cannot do this. It should be done by believers, but people are too scared to go into the damned fields. Shouldn't the Guardians protect the believers in such a righteous cause? Enough. You don't understand this. You are a stranger. We have nothing to talk about. I need to deal with the totem if I want to get information from the cleric. I do hope faith isn't one of the prerequisites for repairing the totem. These are the last buildings in the settlement. There's nothing but a forest beyond them. The bird dropped something from its beak.
No one's been at the sawmill for a long time. Fire really is blue. I thought it was some kind of trick. The knife is too wide. The tweezers from my suitcase would come in handy here. There's so much stuff here. Finding the wheat could prove difficult.
I can see the area with the spoiled crop from here. I'll head down there. It doesn't look like the crop's spoiled on its own. With my reagents, I can test for any chemical traces. It's just a herbicide with machine oil. Nothing mystical. A small area of the crop was poisoned. It's unclear who did it, or for what reason. I need to ask Harry what he thinks about this. That's your field behind the gate, right? With the spoiled part of the harvest? Yes. Did you find out anything? What's the verdict? Did you treat the fields with any chemicals? No, I don't see any point. The field is small. It doesn't bring in much income to worry about. The dead part of the field has been treated with herbicide. The culprit made an effort to disguise it, but they did a poor job. Ha! I knew it would be the most common thing, although I don't have the slightest idea who could have done it. One more thing. Do you have any cinnamon sticks? I'd like to borrow some for the case. Please ask my wife about them. Finding things in this house is her forte. Excuse me, do you have cinnamon? Of course. Cinnamon attracts wealth and luck. I add it to drinks. Sticks would suit me better, if you have any. I need to put the cinnamon in a basket. I have those. Take some. Has the rain stopped? My, my. Now the cleric should talk to me. I took care of the totem. I hope we can talk now. Yes. I know this looks superstitious to you, but these are our beliefs in these lands. What would you like to know? A farmer living nearby told me that some mystical accidents have been happening in the settlement and that you might know something about them. Hmm. The most recent would be when the heavens opened up and lightning struck straight into the mill. Then a fire broke out. Was anyone hurt? The miller has disappeared. The bridge to the mill has been destroyed, but no one dares to go there anyway. People saw demon dogs near the mill. Does anyone even know if the miller is alive or dead? I'll go there right now. I will give you a protective amulet. You are not local, but it might save you from unnecessary problems. I'm not particularly superstitious, so I'll fix the bridge to the mill and look for clues there. Either the dog is still on the loose, or there isn't a dog at all.
I can cut this log into planks to reach the mill. Curious, the mill burned to the ground, but none of the other buildings were touched by the fire. These look like marks from a lightning strike. That can't be faked. Judging by the smoke, the fire only went out recently. I wonder what all these cages are for. And here's the miller's body. Poor fellow, most likely suffered carbon monoxide poisoning. Shreds of fur and the size of the cages indicate that someone kept animals here. Extraordinary dogs. Interesting. The miller illegally bred dogs in the basement of the mill. They could run away in a fire. I need to ask Harry about Count Babington.
Can you tell me anything about Count Babington? Of course. He's the big cheese in our settlement. Have you seen that you just stayed on the hill? That's where he lives. Would it be possible for me to visit there without an invitation? I don't know. The Count doesn't communicate with mere mortals. I didn't even see him when he wanted to buy land from me. He just sent some of his people to negotiate. He wanted to buy land from you? Was this recently? In the beginning of autumn, when it all started. Excellent. That information is invaluable. Thank you. It looks like they were waiting for me here. Is there anything I can help you with? I would be grateful if you introduce yourself and state the purpose of your visit. Detective John Woodbray. I would like to speak with Count Babington. I have a few questions to ask him. The Count is in the living room. You might enter. I will notify him of your arrival. I suspect it's the same liquid that I found dried on the farmhouse window. Hello, my name is John. I am a detective from the capital. Do you have a... Hello, detective. I am Count Babington. Let's get this over with quickly. I'm in a hurry. What do you want to know? I saw a notice confirming that you wanted to buy dogs from the miller. Why did you need this specific breed of dog? I need dogs for hunting. And as you well know, an intelligent and strong dog is an excellent and devoted companion in life. Why did you set a reward for the capture of the demon dog? Did you come up with the idea of a hunter's squad? I did. I have my reasons. Would that have anything to do with you buying land from local farmers around the same time this dog appeared? I get the feeling that you're trying to accuse me of something, but uh, remember, you're in no position here to threaten me. Not at all. I just want to know more about this demon dog, that's all. My grandfather knew everything about it. He was obsessed with the creature. You can read his diary and find out. It's on display in the library. My father said that my grandfather had a whole secret room where he would disappear for days to unravel the secrets of this dog. We were not allowed to even mention its existence. I see, but you're avoiding my question. You're telling me about your grandfather. But what about you? What's your interest in it? I want proof that the dog exists. I'm willing to pay handsomely for it. You might consider this a hereditary insanity. Now please excuse me. I have an engagement to attend to. The Count said that I could go to the library. I'll do that. Best not to enter his private chambers without a warrant.
The diary I need should be in the display case. I don't think I'm quite ready to dive into the experiences of Babington's great-grandfather. I need to look for a use for this hint.
Here's the passage to the secret room. Wow, the owner of this office was indeed obsessed with a demonic dog. I can try to follow the described path and search for this place. This tree is too green for this time of year. The bridge sank into the swamp. I'll have to lift it to get out.
Was there some kind of mysticism involved after all? Could this be a summoning ritual? I've encountered these symbols before, in the temple. Something's wrong with this miniature. So this is the ritual I saw. This ritual was not performed for nefarious reasons. The cleric wanted to protect the settlement.
I've seen this place. Perhaps it's worth visiting again. This ivy is highly poisonous. The farmer may know how to get rid of it safely. Can I help you? I expect so. I came across poison ivy, the one with red leaves. Do you know how to get rid of it? Herbicide will help with anything. Inject it as close to the root as possible, and you won't have to worry about poison. There is a large syringe in the barn. Use it. I'll give you the key. Thank you. I can blow up this large stone to clear the passage. This place doesn't look abandoned. The puddles in the destroyed part of the field were exactly the same color. It's the same herbicide. it is going. That's the Count's voice, if I hunker. I need to leave this evening, but you can follow the plan. Lloyd's farm for today? No, it's better not to take risks. Choose someone new from the list, someone more impressionable. Widow Graham, for example. Will do. I hope the negotiations with the prospectors will go well. Be careful. I don't know how far the detective went in his investigation. He might be on our tail. Now everything is clear. The Count creates the illusion of the monster's existence. I need to collect evidence of his guilt. I went straight up to the courtyard of the Count's estate. This is the gazebo, which was locked.
Jackpot. This is the attacker's lair. The wolf coat is sewn so that it can be worn as a cloak. Someone put together a whole monster costume. The size of the boots is large. That's where the str I think I now know what happened to the old claw. I think this dye was added to real animal blood to make it look... These documents are registered in the name of the Count. They will serve as indisputable evidence. The checks are not in the name of the Count. Could the Count deliberately free the dogs from the mill to stir up further terror around the neighborhood? This helmet has no holes for the eyes, making it hard to see where you're going while you're in it. The wearer's movements would be unbalanced. Obvious traces of herbicide use. It's over. Now I have enough evidence of the Count's guilt to report his crimes to the city. Well, first case completed. It wasn't easy getting everyone to cooperate. Nonetheless, I managed to get to the bottom of the truth and prove that there was nothing mystical in this matter. Now my career will take off. I can't wait to find out what case I'll be assigned next. <laughs>